testing one, two, three, four, five. If you're just joining us, waiting to see if we are on and going, looks like we are seeing a little bit better conditions than what we saw just about maybe a couple of days ago when it comes to net casting. So good news on that. So far, looking good. Okay, so we'll go here in five, four, three, two, and a half, and one. Okay. Good Tuesday evening, everybody, live and direct from House Onik. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik in Memphis, Tennessee. Thanks for joining us for Tuesday evening's edition of News Channel 3's Weather Overtime video weather blog online, helping you to keep updated as to what's going on with weather in and around the Mid-South area. That's eastern Arkansas, north Mississippi, and into around east, uh, west Tennessee or so. If you're just joining us, again, good opportunity to get acquainted with the weather in and around the area. Email address at the bottom portion of the frame right here. If if you have any questions or would like to get something featured on here that we don't normally feature, please let me know. Good opportunity to learn more on that, and feel free to reach out. We'd love to know what you're thinking and what we can do to keep you tuning back in for something like this. A good opportunity for you to keep up to date with weather in the Mid-South area. Also available on all these icons up here, not to mention again at WREG.com slash weather. Brought to you tonight by the magic of drier sheets, less in the way of mosquitoes fluttering around with these. Didn't mention a brand and not going to. Too. So again, something to think about there. But as of right now, I had no idea these things were so handy. So something to think about if you're going to be doing anything outdoors. I wish I would have known about these things a long time ago when I was in Boy Scouts because that would have really cut down on the amount of skeeters floating around out there. Let's go ahead and get going and take a look around at what's going on in and around the Mid-South area. We don't have, again, a lot going on at this time. We do have, again, a uh, lot to talk about where it comes to things like in the tropics and also, again, weather in the Mid-South area. We'll get to that forecast in just a little bit. Also, uh, no heat advisory just yet from the National Weather Service, believe it or not. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little while as well. And throughout the rest of the forecast, things are going to be pretty hot all the way into the course of this next week, so we'll talk about that in just a little while. Here's what it looks like from earth.nullschool.net. Again, we're not seeing a great deal of activity happening where we are. Back to the north of us where those red colors are and the lines smush together a little bit more, that's the fastest air that is passing through. And as of right now, we've got an area of high pressure helping to keep things very steamy and toasty across much of the United States, so not much going on here. Storm system back to our north and west doing a good job of aiming a lot of that moisture and a lot of any storm systems way on up to our north and going to continue to make its way up that direction within the course of the next couple of days, so not much of anything going on where we are concerned. Moon is a waning crescent, about 25.4. Moonrise will be at about 1.39 tomorrow morning in the east. Sunrise today was at 5.59. Sunset tonight will be and is occurring right now at about 8.13 or so, so if you got any great sunset pics, we would love to know more about what that looks like in and around the area. This information courtesy of timeanddate.com. Good opportunity to get more information about what's available out there to look at, and tons of information available as to what's going on in astronomical terms, things of that nature. If you'd like to see more of our webcams, all you have to do is go to wreg.com slash webcams and see what's going on at various points in time around the area with our weather bug cameras. There are tons available out there. And a great way to look and see what's going on. Dusk over Germantown Parkway from Cordoba, Tennessee on the St. Francis Cam looking very quiet into the area for tonight. Showers, a few of them popping up into around portions of northern Mississippi earlier this evening, but really just not that much going on at this time throughout courses of the rest of the area for tonight. You can see some of that activity south of I-40. A few into West Tennessee, but barely anything whatsoever, and that was that 10% or less coverage chance we were talking about just a couple of days ago, so there's just not that much out there where it comes to anything involving rainfall at this time. What do we have coming up in the course of the next couple of days? Well, unfortunately, not much is going to be changing anytime soon. We're going to be watching for maybe some less hot weather out across much of the area, but beyond that, it's not going to be looking like too much. Tomorrow morning, high pressure remains solidly in control for much of the area, but beyond that, not much is going to be happening to really bring any storm systems down from the north. Those are going to be kept up there by high pressure, keeping things very well up to our north at this time, and beyond that, we're just not really looking at too much of anything happening in our area. Now, toward the weekend, we may see some more activity coming on through, but as you'll notice as we put this into motion, the fronts up toward the Canadian border, the 
Great Lakes, they just go sweeping right across the country and do a good job of just leaving us behind. So there's really just not that much out there where it comes to anything involving uh, the possibility of rainfall out across much of the Mid-South. So right now, it looks like anything going on is going to be helping us to keep very warm, and that is really going to be just about it. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on. The main story, of course, is going to be hot. Heat index value is forecast to approach 105 degrees from Wednesday through the weekend. Now, as you'll notice on this, we do not have too much of anything going on where it comes to a heat advisory. Matter of fact, the National Weather Service has not issued anything this week so far because we are just below that threshold. Now, whether or not we go over that into the next couple of days, we're going to have to watch that. However, the heated index at the Memphis International Airport site today was 108 degrees. That was a localized report. It was not indicative of across the Mid-South, so it does not look like we're going to be seeing, again, too much of anything in the way of cooler weather, which is going to to help us out. So this is going to be the big weather story at this time. National Weather Service and the Shelby County Health Department have not reissued the code orange ozone alert in effect for today into tomorrow. So that's also some semi good news anyway, but as of right now, just not really seeing a lot in the way of good news where it comes to anything sweeping through here and cooling us off. It would be nice to have some here in the backyard at this point in time. Why am I doing this outside? Well, because in that way, when you're inside in the nice air conditioning, you can think about me out here and what it feels like and keeping you updated. So again, just letting you know for your personal correspondent outside how things are going. Low temperatures tonight back in the lower to mid 70s. Heading into Wednesday, as you might expect, high temperatures mainly back in the lower to mid 90s. Again, Again, heat index temperatures approaching just over 100 degrees. Still not enough for a heat advisory, but very dangerous working or exercising outdoors. Lower to mid-70s as we go into Wednesday night, and not much better where it comes to Thursday with high temperatures approaching the lower to mid-100 degree range, mainly mid to upper 90s for the most part out there. Now, by Thursday, this is where we may see, again, temperatures getting very close to around 105 degrees anywhere within the Mid-South area, especially down toward Clarksdale and southeastern portions of Arkansas. That's going to be the main thing we're going to be looking at for right now. So if you have any plans for traveling, being outdoor, working or exercising outdoors, that is going to be the main thing we're going to be looking at out there at this time. So this is going to be something that you are going to be uh, needing to take a look at at this point. So again, if you have any plans for being outdoors, this is going to be something, again, that you do have a bit of a problem with. So something to take a look at if you are going to be doing anything out there. So this is something that could be life-threatening if you're going to be doing anything out there in the course of the next couple of days. So learn how to take breaks. Take it easy out there as much as possible. Heading for Friday, let's just go ahead and skip ahead. I hate unhappy endings, but let's go ahead and see what we've got going on for Friday's high temperatures back in the mid to upper 90s. Even better news out there. And then temperatures into, again, the heat index scale for Friday back in the lower to mid 100s at best. Low temperatures Friday, mid to upper 70s. No big surprise there. High temperatures on Saturday back in the mid 90s. And what the heck, let's go ahead and skip ahead to Sunday and see high temperatures in the lower to mid 90s. So not much again in the way of problems helping out there. Maybe a little bit more in the way of showers and thunderstorms popping up, but that's just going to dump more humidity in the atmosphere and not really helping out anybody there at all. Let's take a look at the National Hurricane Center and show you what we've got going on again for right now. We do have, again, a little bit of activity down into around the area close to the northern part of South America. Don is a minimal tropical storm at this time, and this is again uh, heading its way uh, back to the west. It's moving, it's picking up speed actually, about 23 miles an hour to the west, and winds out of the northwest, or winds again pushing it to the west at about 20. Winds inside of the storm are about 40 miles per hour, which makes it a bare minimum tropical storm. We also have back to the east of that another disturbance coming on through, and this one shows a fair possibility of disturbance uh, developing into something else, about a 30% chance, but that's going to be about as much as we take a look at again for right now. So much of what we're going to be seeing at this time is decently quiet, but hopefully it stays that way. We're still in the beginning weeks of hurricane season, so this is something that we are going to have to pay attention to into the next few days. Where is Don going? It looks like it's going to continue on its westerly course and make its way uh, back to around northern portions of the area of South America, coming just north of central Venezuela. But beyond that, it may not survive as it looks like it's going down toward a tropical depression. Still very dry air, 
still a lot of wind shear, not going to be doing anything to helping it along, so it looks like it is going to be uh, very quiet at this point in time before anything else uh, really happens at this point. So that's going to be the main thing that we see out there for anything involving hurricanes just yet, so good news on that. The sunspot, which caused the big auroras and the large solar storm over the last couple days, it's moving off to the side of the sun. It's going to be making its way across the solar surface. Uh, making its way back over to around the western limb of the horizon, and you can see it there at the very edge of the sun's surface. That's 2665. That's the sunspot number, and that's what we're looking at again that caused the storm, but most of it, again, for right now is gone, not going to be causing as much of any problems. Brightest thing in the skies tonight will be coming up in just about a half an hour's time. It'll be a rocket body, USA-186, if I'm not mistaken, and that'll be going across the sky from south to north, going very close to around the area of Saturn at about 840 as it rises out of Earth's atmosphere. And then before it heads on downwards toward the northern horizon, it'll be passing very close to Polaris, the North Star, sitting right there in the middle of your screen. Again, this is USA-186. This is not the International Space Station, and it's not going to be entirely bright. It'll be about 1.0 positive magnitude, which is just barely visible. If you missed the Hubble Space Telescope last night, you should be able to see it again in just about an hour. Same place, southern skies, southwest to southeast, passing south of Jupiter and right across Saturn. It's going to be going just basically right very close to Saturn. It'll be about as bright as it was last night, so hopefully you'll be able to have a chance to see that again. Hubble Space Telescope at about uh, 9.18 from the southwest later on tonight. I'll post more of this stuff on my Facebook page if you'd like to know more about it there. And of course, you already know about Twitter and Periscope, so join me on there and my Periscope pages for more information so we can keep you updated as to what's going on with what's happening in and around the Mid-South with detailed information about what's going on, and we'll be glad to fill you in on what's happening out there. Don't forget to stop by tomorrow morning if you missed the forecast on daybreak or want an update on your way to work or school, depending on which direction you're heading. Dial me up on AM730 on Yahoo Sports Radio with Bob and Josh on TalkBack Live. would love to have you along so you can catch the forecast for more information there and to take you along for more details as to what's going on with sports in the Mid-South. Great sports chat here. If you'd like to know more, just listen in. They tackle a whole bunch of other topics as well, so some really cool stuff to take a look at. More information again with uh, Jim Jaggers tonight on News Channel 3 at 10, and don't forget about Todd Demers. He'll be coming up bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak, so some, for some great information there. We'll have more details again coming up again here on my website. Also, if you have any questions, again, the email address down here, austin.onic at wreg.com, and on all these social media and a whole bunch of other social media networks as well. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, live and direct from the very steamy and thanks to the dryer sheets, the little bit less skeetery backyard. We'll have more details on News Channel 3 on air and online to keep you updated as to what's going on with the complete forecast. Thanks for joining me and stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on air and online.